Suppose we have non-zero real numbers x and y such that the square root of x squared plus y squared plus the square root of x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared is 5. We want to find the ratio of x over y. Now, you might be tempted to solve this by doing a substitution like x equals alpha y and then substituting into that into this equation here and trying to cancel out all the y's and be left with just an alpha. You might be able to do it that way, but it's certainly going to involve some very, very messy algebra. We don't want to do it that way. There's a very nice trick to this. What we're going to do is draw up a little picture here of an xy plane. And for we're going to call A here xy. And we're going to call B the point with coordinates x minus 4, y minus 3. And now I don't really know where A and B are. Let me just make them up. Let me say that A is somewhere here. I don't know, maybe there. So that has coordinates x, y. And then B has coordinates x minus 4, y minus 3. So x minus 4 might be somewhere here. And if I subtract 3 from the y coordinate, maybe it's there. It doesn't really matter that much. OK, great. And so I've got this here. What I'm going to do is consider the vector b to a, and that vector is very clearly going to be 4, 3. If this is b, which has coordinates x minus 4, y minus 3, that vector there is just the vector 4, 3, like so. OK, this is all good and well. Now what I'm going to do is apply the triangle inequality. The triangle inequality says that if you take the sum of the lengths of two sides in a triangle, it must sum to at least the length of the side of the third, um, or the, the, the length of the third side. So here, we've got this side 4, 3, which, as I've drawn it, is the longest side. Obviously, it doesn't have to be the longest side. But we do know, using the triangle inequality, that the length of the 4, 3 side must be at least, uh, sorry, at most, the sum of the lengths of these two sides. Well, what are the lengths? of this side, well, just using basic distance formula, this is just going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. And this length here is going to be the square root of x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared. And so therefore, just using um, this triangle inequality, we get that the square root of x squared plus y squared plus the square root of x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared must be less than or equal to the length of this hypotenuse, or not hypotenuse, just the longest side. So square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. But that there is just 5. But from the question here, we've already told that this equals 5. So in fact, what we've got is equality. And equality only occurs in the triangle inequality if these two, um, this is basically one straight line. So it's a degenerate triangle. So it kind of looks something like that. So that's your longer side. And normally in, a, in an ordinary triangle, your two other sides would look like this. However, it actually looks a bit more like this, where these are supposed to be directly in line. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that the kind of the gradient vector from the origin to x, y is the same as from um, b to the origin. Um, so in other words, we can say that y over x is equal to y minus 3 over x minus 4. And now we've got an equation involving x and y. Let's just rearrange this. We're going to get xy minus 4y equals xy minus 3x. Cancelling those xy's, rearranging, we're going to get x over y is minus 4 over minus 3, which is 4 thirds. And that there gives us our solution.